welcome. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm Everything great. all right? Yes, thank you for having me. I'm thank so you for excited. coming. Your name is Storm. Is that really your name? Yes, that is my name on my birth certificate. Were your parents watching the Weather Channel when you were <laughs> born? No, I think. <laughs> My mom was trying to think of a name. She wanted me to be a boy. Uh, and she found out I was a girl. Uh -huh. So she was sitting in the car and she looked over to my dad in the driver's seat and she said, okay, I think we've created a storm, the, the combination of two of us. Um, but thankfully, I was a good storm. Now, do you have <laughs> siblings? I do. What I are have, their names? Yes, I have two sisters and one brother. My oldest sister, okay. her name is Paris. My other okay. sister, Iman. And then my brother, uh, his name is Josh. <laughs> so, yeah, right. So, like, when I say his name, it's kind of, like, boring. Yeah, it is um, boring, yeah. <laughs> it's like your parents ran out of steam by the right. time they got to yeah, him. Yeah, they were like, okay, just forget it. <laughs> Josh. <laughs> so, how old were you when you started in acting, doing I, this? I started when I was three, so oh, 13 wow. years ago. Three years old. Yes. And you're from Atlanta originally? I'm, I was born and raised in Atlanta, Georgia. That's my home. And then when did you move to Los Angeles? Uh... About eight years ago. So I've been here for a while, but I'll, I'll always miss Atlanta. Do you like, which would you like more, L.A. or prison, do you think? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, L.A., of course. <laughs> That's the one you Do you know. miss Atlanta? Do you miss being uh, at home? I do, especially because my people are there. My dad is there, grandparents, cousins, best right. friend. Everyone's there. But then the food is also actually amazing Yeah, there's there. great food in Atlanta. So yeah. I miss the food as well. What do you miss particularly? Because I'm always interested in the, in this. And I had, mm -hmm. I was in Atlanta for a week once and I had some excellent, excellent meals. I right. discovered smoked chicken wings there, which I'd never had before. Exactly, Atlanta will give it all to you. Um, mm -hmm. But I miss Waffle House. I always get the oh, all-star. Waffle House, really? <laughs> yes, I mean, it sounds simple, but we don't have it here and it's yeah. something that I miss so much. And then my uncle actually uh, owns a restaurant called Burger Baby. And oh. when you pull up, it's like in a gas station, so some people would be like apprehensive going in, but I know my uncle, I know that he like runs a very clean business. <laughs> and when you have those like surf and turf burgers, your mind will be blown. Wait, what is in a, in a surf and turf burger? So he has like a burger mm -hmm. and then like there's like bacon on it and then like two pieces of shrimp oh on my. one thing. Are you kidding me? So good. And is it fried shrimp? No, it's like sautéed shrimp. Really? It's so good. I've never heard of such right. a thing. If you go to Atlanta, go to Burger Baby. And now, is there more than one? <laughs> no, there's so many. He has oh. a whole list. Like, you could create your own burger. He asks if you want, like, steak sauce or, like, pineapple. He does chicken wings. He does the whole thing. So you can go in there, fill up on unleaded, and then get a surf and turf <laughs> burger. <laughs> yes. Wow. Exactly. Get your gas and your burger. I like that he's combined three different animals into <laughs> one little hamburger, too. Right. By, by the way, Mark Wahlberg's family has a burger. What are the odds really? we would have two guests with family burger cha chains right. on one show? Right. It's miraculous. In the, the energy. It must be the energy. <laughs> now, you brought a, a, a video with us, and this is, um, this is unusual because this is something that you've been, you figured like, hey, one day I'm going to be on a talk show, yes. and I've got a video. And how long have you been holding on to this video? I've for? been holding on to this video since 2013. <laughs> okay. So it's been a while, and I've been <laughs> holding on to it. I needed to find the perfect talk show. Okay. And I thought, why not you? Well, because I appreciate you. I know you love to laugh, so. That's, you know what, that's one uh, true thing they say about me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you'd get a kick out of it. All right, so set up what what we are going to see. Okay, so I was in South Africa shooting a, an American Girl movie. Um, and, you know, monkeys come with a territory over there. I yes. was used to that. And oh. there were actually signs everywhere, like in the hotel room and even on set, don't leave the windows open. But this particular day, my hotel room had a patio and we left it cracked. Mm -hmm. And when we walked in, it was a mess, so... The room was a mess. The, the room was a mess. You did not obey the sign that said, do not leave the... I yeah. didn't, and I don't know, I think we got hot or something, and mm -hmm. then we, like, just rushed out to, like, go on an That's adventure. That's how the... Were these herpes monkeys, or were these... I don't know, I hope not. <laughs> yeah, I hope not, too. <laughs> I hope not, Well, but... let's take a look here yeah. and, uh, at this video that has been gestating for quite some time. <laughs> in our room and we left the windows open and the monkey then came in and just ran out when we left. A monkey was in our hotel room. <laughs> look what it did. Look what, this is crazy. He ate mommy's cookies, the ones she was saving. <laughs> 
She's mad. She ran up as soon as we came. That is crazy. He ate my chips, my silver chips. Oh, no. <laughs> My yeah, super yeah. chips. Your chips and, <laughs> and mommy's cookies. Uh, Did mommy ever get her cookies replaced or no? She didn't. Those cookies were so good. <laughs> it, like, it reminds you of like a, a Girl Scout Samoa cookie. Uh huh. Um, and we didn't get them back because it was one of our last days there and they were like <laughs> special ordered. Uh, and then he ate my Simba chips. Oh, no. Well, you know what? You have to expect that when you get a Lion King themed snack, exactly. you know? Exactly. <laughs> so um, tell me about Invisible Man. Uh, this is a very scary movie. Mm -hmm. Are you now? I, I mentioned in the introduction that you are really technically too young to have seen it. Have you seen the movie? I have seen it. I've seen it twice. Okay. Uh, but I think you have to be like 17 to see an R-rated movie. Yes. Uh, without a guardian. Oh, without the guardian. Without the guardian. I could be wrong, uh, but it is scary. But I love that the Invisible Man is yes a genre piece, but we're talking about things that are going on in the world right now, like gaslighting and domestic violence, and I try to be a part of purposeful project, so mm -hmm. I think it's an intersection of both things. So and it's and it's also fun to watch, exactly. right? I mean because it's scary. And Elizabeth was here the other day. She was talking about these guys uh, in the green screen mm -hmm. uh, who then just, the guy became invisible. Yes. It seemed like you could have just had no guy there, though, right? Right. Well, I mean, I hate to toot my own horn, but I had no guy there. You had, had no, no guy for your yeah, I had no distractions. I worked by myself. Uh -huh. It was a little bit more challenging, um, but I had to imagine the unimaginable. So as an actress, I appreciated it, but then sometimes I was like, dang, where's the guy with the green suit? Have you ever considered the possibility that there were invisible monkeys in that hotel room? <laughs> Right, no, not until now. There could still be a monkey in there that is waiting for more Simba chips. It could be sitting right next to you right now. I don't want no parts to that. Well, it's very good to have you here. Thank you for bringing Thank that video. You. It was well worth the wait. Uh, the Invisible Man opens in theaters tomorrow. Storm Reed, everybody. We'll be back with Goody Grace and Blink 182. Thanks for watching. Remember, every time you click the subscribe button, one of your enemies gets destroyed.